So women in financial services are going to play a huge role going forward. So a few reasons for that. A lot of our customers are women. Um, and they play an important part in the new entrepreneurs. And actually, we've just done a survey recently which says female entrepreneurs are making more money than their male counterparts. So it's an interesting dynamic in the social tapestry that we work with. How do you do it all? How do you work full time? How do you have two kids and do that? And you juggle everything. I hope when you're in my position that you no longer get asked that question. Genuinely, I, I hope that we are in a workplace where that is not a question that gets asked of our female workers because nobody asks a man how you do it all. Don't worry about having to know everything, having to be a developer, a coder or architectural design, whatever it may be, you can develop those skills by just consuming as much information as possible. A few things that I really thought I was either going to go into, the forces, I don't know where that came from, or banking. And the reason that I thought I might go into banking is that I had a milk round as a, as a boy and I was really good at mental arithmetic. I wasn't great at maths, but I was really good at mental arithmetic and I always thought, well, that's getting me trained up for banking. And that was where it came from. Do the best you can at school. You know, I, I know people say to me, well, you didn't do it. Well, I went to night class for years and years, um, which is fine, but it's not the best way to do it. You're in school, you might as well give it your very best. And if you can, and if, you know, if, it, if it suits you, go on to further education, because I think it's good for the, for the whole character that you're trying to build, but come into a job with the best qualifications you can, because it makes, it makes you, your CV stronger. You might as well come in as strong as you can.